Hello everyone and to today's tutorial is how to make the little cup that goes along with the teapot. So I'm going to show you how to do this little book folding cup. Now to make the coffee cup you're going to need a paperback book that's at least 200 pages, your ruler, your bone folder, a pen and a knife or a pair of scissors or a craft knife. I use this. So my coffee cup is six and a half centimetres wide by 10 centimetres long. So we have to measure 10 centimetres here and here and then draw a line then what you have to do is get your craft knife or whatever it is you're using your scissors whatever and then you need to cut through here. Now make sure you have a cutting mat or something on the bottom so you don't score any good furniture or anything that you have. Now don't throw this away, you can always keep this. Now, so this is our 10 centimetres. Now what we have to do now is, we now have to measure six and a half. That makes quite a nice size cup. You don't have to have it six and a half. You can have it whatever size you want. So you need to measure six and a half centimetres here. And six and a half centimetres here. And then draw a line. And again... We're going to cut this off. We don't need this. Now we have our little six and a half centimetre by ten centimetre book. Now, to make the actual, to make the hollow inside our little coffee cup, to make the hollow part inside it, you have to cut out You have to cut another section out of this book. Now what you need to cut out is, you need to cut, you need to cut a 4 by 4 section out of this book. Sorry, 4 by 6 
so you need to measure down six centimeters by four centimeters. Now just draw a line across here and a line down here. This is the section that you need to cut that section out. So once again, you need your craft blade. Now I will suggest you cut the downward first. Now this is the side we need to keep. So you need to do this carefully. You can do it with a pair of scissors. So what I suggest is that you cut this section first. Just cut through this section. But please be careful. Then get your scissors. And then cut with your scissors up here because these are the parts you don't need So now this is what we have left. Now, to start folding, what you need to do is you need to fold this in half. I don't know if you can see this very good with the glare of the light. And then fold it in half again. And then fold this area up to here okay now you can put a little bit of glue in there if you want so you fold this in half Run your little bit of glue down there. And then fold it again. And then fold it up here. Just make it in line with this when you fold it up and leave a tiny little space at the spine just a tiny little space at the spine and this is going to be the start of your little cup now it will stand you can always put a little disc on the bottom if it doesn't so fold it over A little streak of glue, fold it again, and then fold it up in a triangle. So fold it in half. If you want to make a mug, you can actually make this taller. If you make it taller, you can make that into a mug. And just don't do this part. Just fold it to there like that. And that will make a mug. 
if you do it like that, you can make a mug. And that'll make your little mug. So you just continue to do that fold to all your other little pages until you have this. Now it will, it will curl in on itself because mine isn't glued together. It just, when you do it enough, it will just go around itself. And then there you are. That's your little cup. Now all I done was... I just took my ribbon, I just took some ribbon and I ran the ribbon around the bottom and the top. I put my ribbon around like this, all I did was I just cut out a little half a heart shape of three pieces of, three pieces of paper and then you just put some glue on, so just put a little glue on and then just glue your handle onto your cup, just like that. So that's your little cup all done. Now thank you for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.